Hello there, everyone. Welcome to How to Digest Plasmids and Figure Out the Sizes of DNA. So first off, the things that you should know is that um, the size of the plasmid is really important, right? That 6,000 base pairs tells you what the total size of that DNA plasmid is. Remember, it's double-stranded DNA. And we're going to cut it in a couple of different places. So each of these lines, each of these rows represents another reaction, a different reaction. And then we would take all of these products and analyze them on a gel. So first, if we're cutting with EcoR1, that means that when we cut this plasmid as a whole circle, it's going to be cut there and there and here. So that means that this fragment here is from 2,500 to 100 base pairs. So that means that when we're trying to figure out um, what the fragment size is, I'm taking 2,500 minus 100 and I get a fragment that's 2,400 base pairs long. The next fragment size that I would get is from this cut site to this cut site. And I can figure out how long that is by taking 3,300 minus 2,500. And I get another fragment size that is 800, 800 base pairs. My last fragment is going to be in between this cut site and this cut site. But remember, this also includes the very first part of it. So I can't just take 3300 minus 100. This site represents 6,000. 6,000. I'm really good at drawing. And so it's 100 from here to here, but it's 6,000 minus 3,300 from here. So I'm actually going to add this 100 to my total of 6,000 and then use that to subtract this other marker site. So I take um, 6100, right? 6100 minus 3,300 to get my uh, final fragment size of 2800. Remember, all of these fragments should add up to equal 6000 because the total size of this plasmid is 6000. So if I add up 2800 plus 800 plus 2400, I get 6000. So it matches. But what about if I'm cutting with Sal 1? Cell 1 just has one cut site, which means that when I cut it here, it actually linearizes the plasmid. Instead of being a circle, now it's just one long piece of DNA. So when I cut with Sal 1, that means that I get just one fragment that's 6,000 base pairs long. Just one cut. Not so bad. Now, if I cut with both of them, meaning that I'm going to cut with EcoR1, it's going to cut there and there and there. and cut with Sal1 that's just going to cut here, that means that I am going to generate fragments that are this long, this long, this long, and this long. So really, the only fragment that's going to be different from this first one is the one that goes from 2,500 to 100. So that 2,400 fragment is the one that's going to be cut. So my two fragments here and here, right, that was the 800 fragment and the 2800 fragment are going to be the same length because they didn't get cut. But this one here from the 2500 to the 100 that was the 2400 is now being split into one that's this size and this size. So from 200 to 100, I have a 100 base pair. And from 2500 to 200, I have 2300 base pair fragments. Let me do another example to help. So I'm going to scroll down to this one, example two. This one is a little bit more complicated because it has um, BAMH1 in two spots, XHO1 in one spot, and an ECOR1 in another spot. So the ones that are the single cutters are actually the easiest. Notice that our plasmid size is different. This time it's a 4,500 base pair plasmid. So that means when I cut with the single cutters like XHO1 or EcoR1, even though they're not in the same spot, when they cut it, it's going to just cut once. So this is going to be one full circle like that. So both the XHO1 
and Ecor one are going to be the entire size of the plasmid, 4,500 base pairs. I cut with BAM H1, though, notice that this cuts in a couple of different spots. When I cut with BAM H1, it cuts here and here. It's just two fragments, so one that's this length and one that's this length. So when I'm adding those up, I'm going to say that the um, BAM H1 from here to here is 2200 minus 150, so that's going to be a 2050 fragment. And because the total, um, there's just two cuts there, I get two fragments and the total size is 4500. So I'm going to subtract 2050 from 4500 and that's the other fragment size. So 2450 is the other fragment size. But what if I do a double cut with multiple enzymes? So first, if I take this BAMHO1 and add in an XHO1, that means that this fragment is going to be cut in half. So this 2450 fragment that went from here to here is still the same size. So I still get a 2450 fragment. But this fragment that was um, 2050 is now going to be cut at this 1200 site. So I'm going to have one fragment that's from 1200 to 150. So 1200 minus 150 is 1050. And then I have another fragment from 2200 to 1200. 2200 minus 1200, I get a 1000 fragment. What if I cut with BAMH1 and ECOR1? Well, that means that I'm going to cut this larger fragment with the ECOR1 site, but this XHO1 site that I'm not cutting with is going to stay because I'm not cutting with that enzyme. So here I have my 20. 50, right, this is my 2050 fragment that's in place, 2050 fragment from 2200 to 150, but this 2450 fragment gets cut right here. So I have one that goes from 3900 to 2200, so that means I'm going to have a fragment that is 1700 base pairs in length, and I'm going to have the rest of that 2450 fragment minus this other fragment. So I take 2450 minus 1700 and I get another 750 fragment. If I cut with all of them, that's even easier because now all I have to do is take these ones. So I have this segment here and this segment here. So I have my 1700 my 750 and this 2050 fragment gets cut into those two smaller ones remember we already calculated those ones here so that means i can just put in the 1050 and 1000 again anytime i add up any of these numbers they should equal the total that's in the middle um, of that whole plasmid so let's just double check these more complicated ones 1700 plus 750 plus 1050 plus 1000, 4500, very nice. We'll do one more check just to make sure. 2050 plus 1700 plus 750, looking good. All right, good luck. Email or um, send me a message if you have any problems with this. There are two more examples for you to try. Um, uh, plasmid BP4, that's what the little P means, plasmid BP4 and plasmid BP3. Give these uh, single and multiple digest products a try. Good luck.